Hey Camperinos, Jeremy Wright here. We're doing a tank talk here on Tank D. And today is Saturday, October 29th, 2022. So we're just a couple of days before Halloween. And this is just entertaining me right now. I walked over to this tank. I'm actually supposed to be working right now. But I came over to hang out. This is a 20 gallon tall guppy colony um, this is a uh, mixed reds so some of them actually I think there's even uh, there's just a, a good little mix of, of different red gup gups hanging out in here uh, I like the one that's kind of center screen right now it's gonna be a good-looking fish it's a juvenile right now but he's gonna have some like Cobra snake skin stuff going the dude that's uh sort of center screen now very interesting kind of a red and gray guppy and i'm just enjoying these guys when the grow light is on you can see quite a bit of the the red enhancement just from having a red light above them or something that's sort of close to the red range Somebody asked me the other day about low light carpet. Now, this isn't really a carpeting plant, but Suswasertang, which is a gametophytic fern. In other words, it's kind of like an, um, an egg or a sperm cell that only has half the DNA or half the chromosomes it's supposed to have for life, only it found a way to keep growing and living. So let's look at this stuff. Again, Siswasertang, Old World Northern Hemisphere Fern, Aquatic Fern. And yeah, it's a, a haploid creature. It only has half of its seemingly full genetic code, yet due to some set of changes, it's able to just grow and bud and divide and do its thing. It does well in low light as well as slightly brighter light there's some over here as well but yeah it just kind of covers an area and that's great cool I prefer that look to like moss um, that's a bit of Christmas moss growing in highlight again the lighting is kind of purple right now plants for those of you who are aware do not need green light. They spit out the green light like it's a waste, a byproduct. That's why we see it, because it is, we call it reflection, but it's sort of like their particles absorb it and then kick it back out. Um, or simply don't absorb it and truly reflect it. But whatever, we see plants as green because they don't need, they're not using the green light. They're using what? light that's on each side of green like that oh you like my uh, mangled up grow light there this one I tried to actually peel off of the shelf above it and I nearly broke the thing doing so so I uh, just put it back where it was like I didn't do that so yeah again this is tank D tank Delta it's a 20 gallon tall planted guppy tank it does have dirt under sand and then a sprinkling of gravel that sprinkling of gravel honestly was only there because these guppies or the guppies that were in this colony were used to seeing gravel and then I redid the tank a while back maybe gosh it's, it's going on like a couple of years probably and it has gone through several iterations I pulled up some of the large plants that were in here there was a big Amazon sword where this one is now and it was like dominating that side of the tank over here like all of this area was moss and taller stem plants so I came through chopped them up pulled some algae and stuff out um, and got along to this point truthfully the just noticed that air is kinda coming out slowly I'll probably increase the flow to the sponge filter just a little bit and go through grab some of these things that have been very disturbed like that guy who's hanging upside down with a ram's horn snail eating 
little pearl weed bit. Somebody was just asking me today, hey, do you have any pearl weed? I was going, eh, I don't think I have any inside. In fact, I've got some right there. I'll move it, replant it, and see what happens. Let's look next to it. What's this guy? Myriophyllum green covered in algae. Sweet! That really just needs to be trimmed. And if I trim it down lower in one of these areas, like, let's see if it actually has algae growing on it down here. Eh, it does. I probably need to trim it kind of low. Eh, that's just a sad looking plant right now. Whatever. That needs to be fixed, trimmed up, looking better. That's what's going on in tank D right now. That's like the worst looking spot of tank D right there, right in front of us. Dun, 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 dun. Algae bed. What are we going to do with that? Probably just pick it apart. What's going on over here? A little algae stuff. What's above there? Oh, we're a ripa plant that's trying to float away, but it can't because it's snagged in algae. So, yeah, I'll deal with that. Looks like the kind of thing that would merit some attention. Um, what else is happening up in here? There's little bits of Richia, Richia fluitans, that's kind of floating free back there. Sorry for the focus problem. Every time a guppy swims in front of this, it's like, oh, hey, guess what? Everything looks different. So, let's... um. Dang, now that everything looks different, I can't remember where the Richia is that I was going to show you. Um, it was somewhere down in that area, but whatever. Let's look at the one I can see, which is back there. Uh, Richia fluitans, crystal wart. This is an Arkansas variety that was plucked from the drainage ditch here in Little Rock, not too far from my house. And um, private property, don't just go robbing plants from nature. But yeah, if you see something really cool... On private property maybe ask the owner if it's a if it would be reasonable or friendly to get a sample and they probably won't care and they'll say yeah sure you want that water weed go grab a piece uh, it's a bit more reachy of fluid times up here again it's crystal wart I think it's really neat uh, it's a good thing for a little fry to swim around in baby scrimps stuff like that also one of the things I, I use this plant for Saswasser so tang shrimp tanks shrimp absolutely dig this stuff they can and their babies can go hide down in there and that's just cool it's a nice little safe spot like a little you know baby zone this tank has lots and lots of baby gups uh, I would guess like Probably 30 to 40 fry swimming around in here right now. And that only looks like about 20 adults. So population's down in this tank. That was something uh, that just happens when we have swap meets. I don't have as many fish afterward. But they'll grow back. So thanks for checking this. I appreciate you hanging with me for a tank talk. Again, this is Tank Delta, just a 20 gallon tall. This is one of my favorite size aquariums to do little planted tanks and live bearers and such. Just really fun size, highly enjoyable, tall enough you can grow stem plants and big enough that it's not hard to maintain, really stable. So two thumbs up from my book for the 20 gallon tall format standard aquariums like this hope you enjoy this sort of thing if you like give me a, a thumbs up subscribe i'm definitely trying to grow my channel and hope sharing good information you know gets out there in the world somehow thank you very much for watching have a great day